agree with me, uh, put your thumbs up. Okay lang ba? Okay, first simple truth here is it's we're, we're going into a recession season wherein the markets are actually falling their prices, not just in the Philippines but global. Have you observed this? Yes? Thumbs up if yes. Okay. Number two, we're busy. Ibig sabihin, katulad din ng mga kausap yung mga tao, uh, busy rin sila. They're actually busy to take care of their own family, take care of their own food, take care of their own gro grocery, and um, they don't want to spend time to learn about the technicality of the market, and they don't want to spend time, katulad mo rin, you don't want to spend time getting into the technicality of what's going on kasi meron kang gustong ibang isiping iba. If you agree, um, thumbs up. Okay, thank you so much. Um, next is, you want to make sure that it's still money working for money. Okay, that um, yes, there is, uh, we have cash, there are investments that we have, and we want to make sure that our money is still safe. It will still give us assurance na hindi ito nawawala. Taas ang, uh, thumbs up. Okay, if this is a good context. And last but not the least, okay, we are what? We are not traders by profession. Ibig sabihin, hindi naman tayo going into 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Getting into what? Um, the stock market, stock exchange, and starting to what? Time the market, get into positioning, all of this technicality. Hindi naman talaga tayo ganyan by profession. And at, in the same way, okay, hindi rin naman yung mga kausap natin, prospect natin, client natin, they don't want to be traders by profession also. They just want to focus on doon sa kung saan sila magaling. They just want to focus on their lives. And we're just trying to help them as well. If you feel that that is a good context, thumbs up. Therefore, no, I guess nakikita nyo to sa screen. Um, but therefore, what I'd like to share with you, ano ba yung sikreto ni Warren Buffett? Okay? This is what we call value investing. Now, before we go into ano ba yung value investing, I'd like to share with you a video that will best summarize okay, ano ba yung value investing into layman's term at ano ba yung value investing into something na pwede nating pagkuhanan ng explanation, ng response, so that now we can get assurance that through this method, through this secret of Warren Buffett, through this strategy, all our money and all our clients' money is into good hands. Are you open to see this video? Thumbs up. All right. So watch this screen, please. So I'm just, as I play with you this video, um, Leo, okay. Leo, can you help me with this, ano, with this video? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna rec uh, I'm gonna play this on keynote or in quick time. Share screen. Share screen. Quick time. Okay, share screen. Youngsters who are watching who are on the flip side are not sitting with debt who are making some money being influencers, have found themselves into some quick 50, 100, that nothing will turn $50,000 in cash into millions of dollars quicker than a bust. I am sitting on more cash, and not because I've made more. I am actively sitting on cash right now because my hope is that there is a meltdown and I can buy things for 20 cents on a dollar, five cents on a dollar. How long have you been in cash? About a year and a half. Yeah. So you are Talk. perfect. You're a perfect Talk. person to chat with because I would have the same mindset before. Yes. After interviewing all these people, I learned some really interesting facts. First of all, trying to time the market impossible. Yeah, and Warren Buffett said impossible. Hey, listen, all these market forecasters, you see on CNBC, said their whole purpose in life is to make fortune tellers look good. He goes, yeah. no one can do it. That's exactly I right. I can't do that it. That I know. So, but logically, you say I'm waiting for the crash because it's going to come. But while people are waiting, people are making money. 100%. Unbelievable amounts of money. 100%. 250% since 2008. How about just since November with the president? It's 14.5%, right? So tell me how I'm doing this wrong or right. What I'm also but, doing with the rest of my activity, because yeah. it's not a, it's a piece of my wealth, I'm being ultra aggressive and driving the other way there and playing on both sides of the extreme. Yeah, I get it. The, the, the whole so like not secret. real estate yeah, or like, yeah. The whole secret is diversify 
terrifying, obviously, and knowing where you're strong, where you're weak. But what people should know about the market, because it's really important, the stock market has provided, you, know, you and I have know a million people that have made a fortune and then go broke. Bro. That's right. Whether it be an athlete or That's an right. actor or anybody else. Unlimited nature, people. Because right? no matter how, you never, uh, what's his name right now? I just saw uh, 50 Cent just went bankrupt. He made $100 million on vitamin water because he got a tip. He made like $400 million in broke. Uh, he's about to go through the divorce. Uh, what's his name? Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. They made 750 million, three quarters of a billion, and they say he's gonna go bankrupt now. He spent $30,000 a month on wine, <laughs> so you should've got I should've got, I got a couple pieces of that. <laughs> but the point yeah. of the matter is, you don't earn your way to a fortune. The way you have a fortune long term is you make money your slave. You and I have done it through multiple businesses, yes. right? But the other way to do it is through the investing. And I always tell people, no matter how great your business is, you should have a money machine on the right side of you with no employees, with no moving parts. It takes 15 minutes a year once you know what to do. That's what this is. But let's talk about the market for a second. People wait to tie to time the market. Yes. So watch this. And first of all, you get a correction every year. People are overreacting, and I tell people the market never took a dime from anybody. Only you did that because you got fearful. Yep. So last year, since 1900, 116 years, we've had an average of one correction a year. Correction, by the way, for people who don't know it is when it goes from a market high, you drop by 10% up to 19, 99%, because at 20% or more, it becomes a bear market or a crash, okay? So we get one of these every year. So last year in January, worst January in the history yep, of the market. I remember. $2.2 trillion meltdown. Yep. People are freaking out. Market drops 900 points in a day. All the wealthiest people in the world are Davos. Yep. They yep. interviewed Ray Dalio, the number one you know, hedge fund guy in the history of the world. And? You know, a large hedge fund, 15 billion, he's 165 billion. You need a $5 billion net worth and 100 million to talk to him. Yep. I got him to share with me. They put him on TV, they say, what do we do, is the end coming? He goes, it's a correction. He said, go read Tony Robbins' book. I explained a theory of how I made, how I made 85 Did you sell some copies there? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yes. But, but, but I got him to give me the answer. Yeah. I've made money 85% yeah. of the time in 75 years. But here's what you need to know. 80% of those corrections never become a bear market. They all correct back, just like last year. But if you sold, you lose. Of course. But then let's look at the crash. Crashes happen every five years on average. We've gone eight without one. That's mm -hmm. why we're due for one. And you're mm -hmm. right to be somewhat prepared. Mm -hmm. But while you're preparing, there's opportunity that's happening because, first of all, every bear market lasts on average a year, goes down 33%, but you don't lose 33 unless you sell it. That's right. the one thing I want people to hear. In two centuries of American business, every single bear market was followed by a bull market. So you remember 2008, people lost 50%. This is you where, where, this is where, where 69 percent This is where Buffett wins. Buffett's got a, talks about Buffett this. is so, it's such a great concept. I, I believe in it so much, which is, Unless you're betting on America disappearing, you will win. For centuries. That's it. That's it. And we're That's keep, the punchline. And we're line. gonna keep growing. By the way, every month on average we have a new high. So, so when you hear so, it's high, oh my God, it's gonna crash, it's high. But let me give you one more. Please. This is the timing, and this will maybe the payoff for you. Payoff is, I, would, I just did the JP Morgan Alternative Investments Conference in Miami. You gotta be a billionaire to attend. You have to prove it with your net worth. There's 400 yep. people there, it's an amazing group. JP Morgan did a 20 year study and Schwab did one also separate. They found in the last 20 years, the S&P 500 gave you an 8.2% return. So you're doubling your money every yep. nine years. Yep. Pretty cool thing. But what they found was, if you were out of the market on the 10 best trading days in 20 years, instead of 8.2, you got 4.5, almost half as much money. If you missed the top 20 days, trading days, in 20 years, one day a year, you're doing what yeah. you're doing, trying yeah. to be the right yeah, timing, yeah. you got a 2% return. You might as well have been If you miss the top 30 days, you lose money. Makes a ton of sense. In 20 years. It makes sense. So the most difficult, the dumbest thing you can do is be out of the market, not you. No, no, I get it. Cause you I'm, plenty in the market, the, I'm plenty in the market. I'm plenty in the market. Because uh, I believe and, in it. And then also being prepared. So Tony, listen, I, first of all, one of my favorite things about you from afar, we get to hang once in a blue moon, random yeah. calls here and there, but from afar, you know what I love about you? You, you fucking hustle. <laughs> like, I feel like you're, the book came out today, you're freaking everywhere, doing your thing, that's what you're good at. We have a very large audience of a, like you're good, I know you're good at what you're doing, but here we have a real awesome opportunity because I think we're gonna go deep in a narrow field. Yeah. So the majority of these people, I don't think are, are looking at the stock market. I, I even look at the characters here. Yes, the I way they think of, yeah, the way they're thinking about the stock market, so different. In a world where you might not have cash and where you might have debt, or if you're not even in debt, you just don't have a lot of cash. Talk to me about somebody sitting with ten thousand dollars which by the way for a high percentage of this is still a ton right. but is there anything that if they have 
fifteen hundred dollars, are they should they be out of the market? Like what are they like I know we're going very, very, very micro here, yes. but I actually want to bring value. No, My pa- payoff is actually bringing value to everybody I'm, watching. I'm, I'm Go ahead. Say, I give an example in the book here. And I'm gonna take a phone call. Get ready for phone calls, Chris, you ready? You yeah. All right. So Forget just the $10,000. What matters is the system you put in place. The shit you do randomly every now and then because you got money is not going to help you much, right? <laughs> Especially so what, if it's a fucking fat whip or a watch. <laughs> yes. I don't even want to start. So the number one piece, the most important financial decision for everyone watching, everyone in this room, really, we all know, you got to become an owner instead of somebody that is constantly you know, utilizing products. In other words, if you have an iPhone and you don't own Apple, what's wrong? You're a consumer, you're not an owner. you got to become cute. an owner. How do you do it? Every person in this room has got, regardless of whether you think you have the money or not, to make the most important financial decision, which says to be an owner, I have to take a percentage of my income, and no matter what, off the top, automate it so I don't see it, put that in an investment account. Now, what's the number? You might say, I can't, Tony, I'm starting my business, I'm strapped. I tell all business owners, the example of a gentleman, true story, Theodore Johnson, 1950s, works for EPS, guy never makes more than 14,000 in a year. He retires with seventy-one million dollars. He gives away thirty-five million while he's still so alive. So good. I need to How is that out. possible? A friend of his did what we're comes to him and says, "I'm going to make you rich." He goes, "I'm not rich. I make fourteen grand a year, right?" He says, "I'll make you rich. I'm going to put a twenty percent tax on you." He goes, what are you talking about? I can't pay my bills as it is. He said, listen to me. Adjust. If the government gave you an additional 20% tax, you'd bitch, you'd yell, you'd scream, and you'd pay it because you have to and your brain adjusts. But that money goes in this investment account. The compounding of that account made him $70 million and he never made it in 14 million. Andy, do you have Facebook stock? Yes. Because of all the chatter we always have in here? Like that's the punchline, right? Like we know because we live in this world for the last yes. three years. I've been yelling and Andy will tell you. Not yet. Um, that uh, just buy, fa- we know Facebook's underpriced. Like that's but, even but, narrow. But here's what you gotta be careful of. And this is something Ray Dalio taught me, one of the smartest men on the face of the earth. He said, Tony, I don't care what it is you know. You're gonna invest in what you know because you have certainty. Of course. Right? Whatever you know is gonna drop 50 to 70% sometime in your life. That's right. And he said if it's later in life. Which is why diversity straight. matters. That's yes. why diversification matters. But let me give you the guy. But, you but let's talk about that for a minute. Let's yes. Just, and Ray's right. Like that's just non-debatable. That's, that's totally data. Yes. It is interesting to see where. You don't want it, what I'm saying is you don't want to just own Facebook. Of course. Of course not. Be, you've got to have across the board of course. because you but say there I is, want to have the best one. There is, on Facebook, there, there is an interesting debate that if you're actually knowledgeable about a sector yes. and you're only putting two to four thousand dollars a year to work, that's an interesting debate. It's, it's an interesting and by debate. the way, and by Netflix the way, when you're and Amazon. Young, when yeah. you're this young, you can also be more heavily oriented stocks, you can take more sure. losses because you have more time. But think of it this way, just go back to compounding as a simple example. Guy in here, I talk about the book, 19 years old, dad convinces him to save 300 bucks a month, 4,000 bucks a year. So it's within the range of anybody here you're talking about. Yep. Right? Guy starts at 19, stops doing it at 28. He only puts in 35 grand. He puts it in the market, and the market's grown 10% over 30 years, but let's use 8% to be more conservative. Last 20 years has been more 8%. At 8%, that'll grow to 941,000 without another dime. He'll have a million bucks off of $50,000. Ah, uh, you're preaching. But on the other hand, his best friend waits till he's 29. He does the same thing, and he, but he has to keep investing to 65. He puts in almost 180 grand, and he doesn't get the million. Yeah, bucks. the math, the math is the math. In. You gotta get in. All right. So again, um, that's a video that hopefully you're, get, you're getting to learn from today. What's gonna happen is, again, Leo, please go into uh, breakout sessions, two minutes, okay? Within two minutes, share. Okay, what's your biggest takeaway? What's your biggest learning? Because I feel, I just feel that majority of your questions sinagot na noong video na yun, correct? So, uh, your, your questions around timing the market, your questions around what do I say, your questions around my, my basic idea on what to respond. I guess this uh, video has already given you that level of response already. So, share your biggest takeaway, breakout rooms. Leo, please do so. Thank you. Um, everyone, again, everyone, please be on mute. Um, I'd like to go lang biggest takeaway coming from three or four people from different breakout rooms. Ano yung natutunan nyo base sa video na to? Anyone? Mauna na ako, Coach. Um, biggest take uh, natutunan ko is really a financial decision if you're going to put your money in a business versus stock market. So sabi ko nga kanina, parang ang sarap na mag-invest ngayon or pababain pa natin yung market. Kasi tayo din yung mag-benefit at the same time. It's a big help for us na may share natin dun sa mga clients natin. Yun lang. 
Thank you, Abby. No, um, anyone else? Ah, uh, ako ako mix ako mix. Yes, Paul. Yes, ayon. Ah, uh, kung bumaba man yung market, ah, uh, tataas din yan eh. You just have to wait for it to recover. Na kapag na recover naman yan, as long as hindi mo wini withdraw yung pera mo nang mababa. Paper loss lang yon. So hindi ka hindi, hindi ka para malulugi. And investment is long term. So hindi mo yan withdrawin ka. Kalimutan mo yan for how many years? And eventually, kung nagkaroon man ng recession, it will go up. So, there's nothing to worry about. Thank you, Paolo. Salamat. Anyone else? Me, oh, Rach. Oh, sige, si Rach muna and then si Jomari after. Rach. Ako yung biggest learning um, ko dito is a crash in the market is always expected. Um, what's important is regardless kung mataas or mababa yung market it's the habit of investing and saving and preparing kasi we know that a drought is gonna happen well, I feel sorry for the people na hindi nakapag-prepare but that's when we can take action around it thank you thank you so much Rach um, Jomari ako biggest takeaway is um, it's never about the perfect timing as soon as anyone can just just go for it um, kasi may tres pinopospone mas tumatagal yun thank you so much no uh, for everyone here I hope you guys are learning now the thing here no if I uh, we're gonna take a look at investing ulitin ko kung gusto nating manalo sa recession um, it's never about okay, hindi ito tungkol again number one uh, I just want to put this again number one we are not um Number one, we are not um, traders by profession, okay? Which means uh, the question here is knowing we're busy, knowing it's recession season, um, this video allows us to understand that if we're not traders by profession, how can we still go into the market? How can we not worry? Paano tayo magkaroon ng assurance? And sabi nga nila, if there's one thing that uh, Warren Buffett is really an expert on at ang sekreto ni Warren Buffett dito, is really what we call value investing. Now, will it be of value to you if we actually get to understand what value investing is so that now, mas maintindihan natin at mas ma-explain natin to clients for them not to worry. Thumbs up if yes. Okay. Yeah. Value investing is from the word, okay, value. Ibig sabihin, ang tinitingnan natin dito is yung value nung kumpanya Okay, because we know that stock market, okay, that we're investing in the, especially for us, Philippine Stock Exchange, okay, uh, we're investing on the top company, on, on the companies in the Philippines. And we're looking at it, value investing is looking at the value, not the price. Now, ano yung price? Ito yung nakikita natin every day. Ito yung tumataas, ito yung bumababa, ito yung nire-report sa Bloomberg, ito yung nire-report sa PSEI, okay, but it does not determine the value. Are you guys with me? Okay. So, ibig sabihin, value is company dependent. Ulitin ko, ang value is depende sa kumpanya at wala atong pakilam doon sa price. Okay. Number two, okay, ang tinitigdan sa value investing is the profile of the company. Okay. Thumbs up if you're with me. Okay. Number three, we're looking on the news whether ano ba yung ang tinitingnan dito sa news hindi yung charts, hindi yung um, mga linya-linya. Ang tinitingnan dito is ano ba yung ginagawa ng kumpanya to actually, number one, serve more people. Number two, help more people. Number three, make it more convenient for people. Can I share with you why? Thumbs up if yes. Kasi lahat ng activity nung, ta ay, nung kumpanya to help more people, to serve more people, and to actually make it more convenient for people will produce more demand. And alam naman natin, more demand equals prices go up. Are we clear? So it is dependent on the news that is ano ba yung ginagawa ng kumpanya. Pang-apat, it doesn't care about the volatility of the market. Bakit siya walang pakilam sa volatility ng market? Kasi ang tinitingnan natin dito, yung value yun, nung kumpanya 
ang tinitignan natin dito yung paano ba nakakatulong yung kumpanya at credible ba itong kumpanya na ito base sa financial statement niya or whatever or kumikita ba itong kumpanya na ito. Are you guys with me? Okay. Last but not the least, okay, this is patience and due diligence kasi alam naman natin okay, na kapag itong kumpanyang to solid na solid, this is a company worth investing. Are we clear? So, ang suggestion ni Warren Buffett, kapag yung stock is undervalued, ibig sabihin napaka-solid na kumpanya pero yung presyo niya mababa, you buy it. Regardless of what? Regardless kung volatile yung market, regardless kung recession tayo ngayon, regardless kung crisis tayo ngayon, because mamaya ipapakita ko ano ba yung naging performance ng market regardless of recession and multiple crisis we all experienced. Are we clear? So Now, parang, sorry, yes. Parang in general, yan yung mga, mga company na top 30, yung mga malitigas sa talaga. Okay. Thank you for speaking that leap, no? Kasi um, I'm, I'm gonna set that now as an example. Okay? At ang example ko dito is, if you're gonna look at these companies right now, okay, thumbs up kung tingin mo hindi naman ito magsasara dahil may coronavirus. Okay? Thumbs down kung tingin mo magsasara to dahil may coronavirus at mawawalan na ng Jollibee ng BPI kasi may coronavirus tayo. Thumbs up kung tingin mo solid pa rin to. Thumbs down kung hindi to solid. Thank you. Now you're seeing it's a thumbs up. Ibig sabihin, kung solid tong kumpanya na to, base kay Warren Buffett, base sa value nito, at ang presyo nito is 75% off, anong gagawin? Buy. Exactly. Okay? Now, bakit ba yung tao, okay, if I may ask you, bakit ka ba yung tao masyadong nag-worry? Bakit ba yung tao anxious to go to the market? Or maybe if there are some people nagbibigay ng opinion, nagbibigay ng um, suggestion not to enter the market right now, not because they're wrong, but maybe they're just looking at it from a trader's perspective. Are we clear? Maybe they're just looking at it from a trader's perspective, which is what we call price investing. Ano yung price investing? You're just looking into price positioning. Lagi mo chinecheck yung market every day, tinitignan mo yung chart, tinitignan mo yung analysis, tinitignan mo yung market kasi position ka which is buy at a low, sell at a high, okay, the fastest time possible. Ulitin ko, the fastest time possible. You're actually getting position. Number two, hindi mo naman tinitignan yung financial statement at plano ng kumpanya. Ang tinitignan mo lang dito is yung mga moving average. Si Coach Elmer, alam yan, no? yung mga technicality ng uh, stock market, no? yung mga moving average, yung mga analysis kung saan magde-determine if we're on a bull market or bear market, okay? ang tinitignan mo dito yung chart at ang tinitignan mo dito, ang key focus mo dito is yung paggalaw whether we are on an upside trend or a low side trend. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Sabi dun sa mga traders or yung mga nagpa-price invest, they buy if the market starts the bull run, they sell if the market starts to go bearish, which means hinihintay nila kapag sobrang down na yung market doon sila bumibili, tapos kapag sobrang up ng market doon sila, ay kapag pababa na yung market, doon sila nagbebenta. Now, if I may ask you, will that cost time? Thumbs up if yes. yes. Will that cost effort and energy? Thumbs up if yes. Ibig sabihin, wala namang masama dyan, wala namang mali dyan, tama naman yan talaga at kikita ka naman din talaga. But my only question is, are you a trader? Is that something that you're doing as a profession or you're just wanting to have a system in place wherein it's money working for money, wherein you're busy, you do whatever you want to do, you go to the grocery and let your money work for you? What are you, a trader or, a, or you have some, some other work in some other work? Investor. Investor. That's why maybe... Um, if you're gonna take a look at a lot of opinion now, not that these people are wrong, klaro tayo, but maybe because they're just looking at it from another perspective. And for you, as a financial wealth planner, okay, now that you know your perspective, 
now that your perspective and that things you're offering or the things that you're supporting people with is actually an investment to these companies, okay, based on value, okay, are they undervalued right now, overvalued? Undervalued. Very much Under undervalued. Okay. And so if they're undervalued, there will come to a point where in the market will actually correct itself, put a right value to these companies. Therefore, will this give us assurance or will this give us worry? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So maybe what I'd like to do right now, I want to stop for a bit. Um, three minutes. Um, Leo, just prepare now for breakout. Three minutes. Maybe share. Paano mo ngayon to bibigyan ng assurance yung mga kausap mo? How do you now want to give value to people na nagtatanong, maybe nag-i-inquire, or maybe nagbibigay ng opinion or negative comment around the stock market? Okay? Having learned what we're just discussing for today. Are you guys learning? Tasang, uh, thumbs up if yes. All right. If you're learning, okay, share to your small group. Breakout session, three minutes, ready, begin. Thank you so much, everyone, for that. Uh, again, two or three people. Uh, hopefully, other uh, yung mga hindi pa nag-share, they will share. No, two or three people. Uh, what's your biggest takeaway for today? Uh, based from our recent discussion, anyone? Go. For me, Ayan. the value investing should be a, a perfect or magandang approach in terms of investing should be the long-term view. And not just because the market is really down right now. Kasi maglagay ka ng 50,000 yun. After 10 years, can be 500,000. Sayang naman. But, but the consistency in terms of, of doing this. Probably siguro dahil mababa ang market niya. Probably put in more. But, pero yung consistency pa rin. Kasi kahit mag one-time big time lang yun. Over the long term, 100% yun. Or times 10 yan. Malit lang kung malit lang may ilagay mo. But if you're continuously doing it for the next 20, 30 years, that's the, that's the difference. In terms of solid, so yung pagiging solid din ng company, I cannot really rely on that. Kasi things are changing and things are not changing. So probably for the next 10 years, itong mga company na to will be obsolete if they do not change. So I, I, will not, I will not bet on that. But I will bet on my consistency in terms of investing in the market. Thank you, Coach Elbert, for sharing your, your take on it. No? Um, anyone else? What, what have you been taking, learning from this? Hey, hey Coach. Oh. Go, so, Drake. Sa amin, Coach, yung pinaka-naging biggest learning namin, of course, uh, ma-aware naman kami dun sa context ng ano, no, training sa investing no? However, for me, ang ganda na itong terminology na ito ng ano, value and price investing, um, making, making it simpler for people to understand and explain it to them in a layman's term. Um, yung pinaka-value talaga, ano ba talaga yung goal mo na talaga kasi nila? Is it trading ba talaga or is it really about investing for long? So this will simplify it. So thank you very much for this. Dre? Sige. Okay, Wala si Dre, no? Um, last one. Yes, Dre. Go. <laughs> Narin ko yung sinabi ko kanina, right? About value. Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> Tiyo, yeah. di yeah. So, coach yun sa amin is, yes, away naman kami somehow with the context. Um, but yung kinaka-terminology makes it simpler for us to explain it to people. Um especially for those people na, or for those clients na hindi man naman masyadong ganito aware sa mga jargons and technicalities and everything. So, again, it, it will all boil down para naman talaga the goal. Ano ba talaga muna kasi goal? Is it trading ba, mid-term, or is it long-term pa rin talaga? So, no matter how 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 low yung market ngayon, no one knows until kailan siya maging mas mababa pa. So, um, in the end, buy pa rin pa rin talaga. So, because again, the goal is investing. Thank you so much, Dre. Any uh, last one? Yeah. 
JV, uh, what do you think? Para sa akin, ano, yun niya, maganda rin siyang pang additional knowledge natin about this investing. And this, at the same time, naman talaga yung uh, in-explain natin sa client na this journey is about long term. So, whether kung mababa man market or mataas, alam naman natin na safe pa rin kasi additional, may additional protection pa rin naman yung client natin. Pero in regards sa investing naman, sa investment, if uh, yun yung magiging comparison natin, parang yung mga nar- previous market, nangyari na to, recession before, may so, alam natin na pag-aaralan natin, nakare-research natin yung mga nangyayari. So, makakapag-add value tayo do through value investing. Ah. Yeah. Thank you so much, JB, no? and, and thank you so much for everyone. Again, I just want to put in context, especially with, uh, with, with what we're experiencing right now, uh, that we don't want to, number one, we don't want to make false promises um, to the client na, you know what, just, just um, because bagsak yung market ngayon, number one, talaga mag-invest ka super lucky kasi um, short term, it's just gonna um, give you so much money. I just want to put in context kasi again, number one, we don't know what's going on and what's gonna happen. No one can really predict the future. But the only certainty we have here is that through this strategy, through this method, maybe another tool okay, na pwede nating gamitin, another tool na pwede nating uh, i-discuss with your clients. But through this strategy, it is somewhat safer. Okay? May not give us you know, 40-50%, but at least it's somewhat growing our money bigger than the bank. No? So later on, um, we will discuss this up to what now. So the question here is, ano ba yung proof mo dyan, uh, Migs, no? Paano ba, pin, paano ba natin gagawin yung um, how do we now do value investing? Ano ba yung key steps around value investing? And I just want to share it with you right now. The key according to Warren Buffett okay, and according to, ito nga, kay Tony Robbins uh, around value investing is this one. Oops, wala. This one. Patience and consistency. Okay, ibig sabihin, ang, I, I love what Coach Elmer said, um, what we can simply depend on is our patience. Okay, D- patience because if we're investing in the market consistently, tuloy-tuloy, hindi lang one time, okay, but actually um, be, we're being consistent, we're putting a system, we're putting a structure around our money, we, working for money. Okay, it will actually, in the long run, Okay, will actually give us more returns. Okay, again, ang sabi nga ni Tony Robbins, if we withdraw right now to the losses that we incur, yung paper loss natin nagiging actualized result, uh, actualized loss. But if we actually just wait, hold for it, and wait for the market to come back, okay, then wala tayong actual loss, we will just come back with regards to whatever price or whatever value of money we invested right now in the market. Are we clear? Thumbs up if yes. All right, perfect. So, um, anong proof ko dito? Anong proof ko dito? I did some research and I just want to share it with you now. Um, this research is, again, time and consistency from 1998 to 2019. Ulitin ko, 1998 to 2019 PSEI, okay, which means it has withstand all crises, the global financial crisis, the Asian financial crisis, the uh, crisis of 2001. Okay, and if you're gonna look at this image right now, if you're gonna look at this right now, you will see, okay, that uh, within the past, if you invest your market consistently, okay, it will actually give you around, okay, 1, 3, okay, even 12, 19% per year on average. Okay. This is on average on a yearly basis because we've been what? Consistent and we've been patient. Now, how does this work? Um, one of the things that I uh, personally believe in, you may believe in it as well. Okay? If you're like me that I'm busy, if you're like me na ayaw nang isipin yung mga chart-chart, um, pero kung gusto nyo rin naman, okay lang din naman. No? That's actually a way for you to maximize returns. Okay, But if you're like me, that it's okay for you not to maximize returns. You just want to have a consistent growth of money that is bigger than the bank, that is bigger than um, a savings account. 
not really the bank kasi may UITF sila, but that is bigger than a savings account or a deposit account or a time deposit or a money market fund, okay? Um, one of the things that I actually do through patients is consistency is we call cost averaging. Okay, so again, you are time you are not timing the market. You're just consistently putting money in, and it's gonna give you approximately around eleven k eleven percent on average. Okay, within the next ten to fifteen years. Now, if you want sources around this, again, I can give it to you. It's from pesolab.com. Uh, even BDO has actually shared with uh, with the public how the actual returns has been for the past 5, 10, 15 years. Okay? So, yan yung proof natin. Okay? Yan yung proof natin that actually this works because, again, if we're talking about three simple truths here, at itong three simple truths na to, which is number one, we're just investing on companies na alam natin, pwede natin pagkatiwalaan, which is the top 10. Okay? Number two, we are being patient enough because we are we know we have we know the objective and number 3 uh, we are being consistent we're putting a structure then i guess um, there's nothing to worry i guess there, we, it is giving us assurance that all is well this will too shall pass and we will still bounce back and our money will still grow so are you guys learning so maybe um, finally, no. Um, final two minutes, okay. Just before we close this, okay. Final two minutes. Biggest takeaway on what value investing is, specifically on the proof of growth. Na meron tayong actual data, meron tayong actual return sheet, knowing that our money is safe, so that we can give this assurance. We can give this. Um, level of competency to the people we're adding value with. All right? So, um, Leo, two minutes, breakout, final two minutes, final breakout. Thank you so much, everyone. Maybe two people lang, uh, two people who'd like to share biggest takeaway for today. I'd like to hear from, especially yung mga hindi pa naman super tagal sa atin. Um, I'd like to hear from Nico. Nico? Biggest learning? Hello. Good evening. Uh, biggest learning for today is regarding din sa investing natin na maganda talaga na long term tayo. Dapat alam natin na kung ano yung horizon na pinipili natin. Hindi tayo for short term, hindi tayo for medium term, for the long term tayo. So, kaya tayo nag investing sa mga high value companies natin kasi alam natin na idadaling tayo ng sa, sa mas magandang price, sa mas magandang uh, and, ayun. So, yun yung natutunan mo. Thank you. Alright, thank you, Nico. Micaela. Hi po. Um, biggest learning ko po ngayon is yung two terms na tumatak talaga si Isiko, which is value investing and price investing. And realize ko na you can invest talaga anytime. It's just that it, um, it's just that you need patience and consistency you should have you just have to be wise kung saan ka magi invest kasi um nag part na talaga ng market yung pagbabaan pagtaas so you should you just have to be wise on where to invest and how yun pa all right thank you so much no um last person will be Tita Evelyn i'd like to know your biggest takeaway here um, biggest takeaway ko, uh, yun din, yung um, value investing, what we are doing with our products when we uh, when we uh, present yung VUL is really value investing. Uh, lalo na at this time, yun nga, yung consistency. Sabi ni Coach Elmer na uh, you put in the money consistently kasi ano, pala, pala, pala ano naman. Uh, upward naman. Upward naman ang movement ng market. So, yun. Alright. Thank you so much, no? Uh, salamat, Tita Evelyn. Again, um, the reason why we're having this conversation, this discussion, this meeting is because of two things. Number one, we just want to remain grounded. We want to remain calm because there is actual, okay, there are there is actual, um, 
data that can actually give proof that we're okay, we're doing well, and that all is well. Are we clear? Number two, um, the reason why we want to have this discussion also is we want to put context, especially um, you are financial wealth planners. You don't, you don't want to give false promises. You don't want to give false expectation. But at the same time, gusto mo merong backup, merong credibility, at merong reliability yung mga uh, bagay that you want to consult or you've been consulting other people. Especially a lot of people right now are... Uh, inquiring, especially a lot of people right now are looking into what to do. How do they now make their money grow? How do they now make their money um, become better? Okay, an alternative option. And this is something that you can what? You can actually equip yourselves with so that you can help and serve as many people as we can during this season. So are you guys with me? Thumbs up. Okay. So, um, again, thank you so much. No? So, what now? Do you know? Okay, now, just before we close, no? Um, do you know of any? Meron ba kayong kilala? Or meron ba kayong alam? Okay, na sistema or structure? Okay, that is actually value investing, which is blue chip? Okay which is consistent, which is patient, okay? That is, again, we're not promising heaven and earth here. The only thing we're promised, this, is, this beats a savings account. This is better than a deposit account for future objectives, for long-term purposes, for, um, our, for the people that we're speaking with. They can have more money than what we have now. Do you know of any um, structure or system in place right now? BUN. Set for life. <laughs> okay, so I, I agree with all of you. Ang tawag natin dyan, okay? A mutual fund, okay? A VUL or a, okay? a, U, a UITF. Are we clear around this? And, okay, but more than really just um, a UITF here, I have seen, okay, more than having a UITF here, I, have, I haven't seen any other Ulitin ko, wala pa akong nakitang iba. Haven't seen any other system or structure in place wherein for the same amount of money, for the same savings, for the same um, deposit, okay, you're not just value investing, you're not just hitting all of this, but you're also getting security, you're getting guaranteed cash, you're getting secured investment, you're getting expense and income replacement. I haven't seen any other for the same amount. So does that give you a uh, fulfillment that you are on purpose, that you are on a mission simply because what you're actually giving people and serving people with is a system like no other that's actually beneficial to anyone and everyone that you're meeting with right now? 